Hello, this is the Shoei Opticsaw, a head-up display helmet from the preeminent helmet manufacturer, which is on sale right now. And you never heard of it, because Japan doesn't want you to know. To buy this lid, I had to close my phone, because it can't be bought online. I had to fly to Japan, because it can't be bought out of country. I had to enter Shoei's flagship Tokyo Gallery, because it can't be bought from vendors. I had to ask the staff about it, because it is not displayed on shelves. I had to provide my reasons for wanting one, because it won't be sold to just anyone. And I had to have someone else do all of that, because Shoei would never sell one to me. After that, it's basic. 137,500 yen, an undramatic number. The owner's manual is public in Japanese. The press kits are available at the Osaka Motorcycle Show. It kind of makes one want to crack into this egg to see what Shoei doesn't want the world to see. As hinted by the brightness sensor, there's a projector unit behind the chin bar. Ventilates about as well as a piece of Tupperware. And this access panel hides the mounting point for a combiner, which is just an adjustable lens before my right eye. So I see this display focused to hologram 10 meters in front of my bike. It's small and it's just brighter than the sun. However, ye old car HUD is fixed near its windshield, which is stable. Whereas the helmet HUD whips past half the known world every time I shoulder check, which is nauseating. Also, the helmet buffets at a slightly disparate rate to my skull, meaning the display gets blurrier the faster I ride. In summary, it's a bit shit. I can see why Shoei isn't proud of their first experiment in demented reality, but why push this to market at all? Now see, HUDs don't solve the problems people expect. You want a camera? Well, fine. You want to... Listen to podcasts so you can displace any original thinking and become insufferable to talk to? No problem. Phone, music, comms, it's all trivial without a head-up display. Even if you must see directions, TFT dashes are everywhere. There's no real pain point in glancing down to see your turn, your speed, your gear. What a HUD really solves is how to inform riders of what they don't know they need to know. Your signal light is on. Your Ducati is about to explode. Your blind spot is full. You're being followed by an Albertan. That is why Shoei is beta testing the optics on, because the big four Japanese manufacturers are putting radar safety features on the next generation. And by the time you glance down to notice a collision warning, oof, and the HUD fills the instantaneous communication gap that will open in the next few years. So Shoei is being pressured to test the uncharted waters. See, it's rough sailing to make a smooth HUD. All these access panels must be low profile and matched to the vents. The engorged chin bar must be squared to pull off this Johnny Bravo with Dragon Balls style. The speaker's mic and control unit must be channel routed so as not to disturb the padding. And the shell must be AIM+, plus, one of the lightest to pass ECE, to get the gross payload under 1800 grams. We've never seen a proper manufacturer build one of these, so it's exciting to probe just how refined they can be compared to the startups. If you're wondering how we take these tiny interior shots, Fort 9 uses an Insta360 GO 3, sponsor of our video. First thing is to pop the camera into its action pod so we can use the flip screen to check our lighting. Does that look bright enough to you? Then we mount the tiny lens onto some kind of probe. It's magnetic, so we clicked right onto my tire lever. After that, Max does his Tai Chi while I remotely monitor and record the footage. Oh, looks sick, dude. Click the link below for a camera that not only fits inside your pocket, but can film inside your pocket. Damn it, I forgot about that thing. To get six hours of projection that outshines the sun, a lightweight HUD will need an external battery. It's an awkward request to have riders rock a brick in their pocket, but a necessary one, and one that Shoei has the clout to make. 
I think this is the most intelligent iteration of the most silly idea, but nonetheless is soon to be relevant. So I went to great lengths to procure one while one still can. See, baking 500 tech dollars into a bun with a five-year shelf life is stupid, like making a long-term investment in a banana or GameStop. That's why BMW is working on Connect Ride sunglasses that go with you from lid to lid. These lenses sit closer to the eye and are more closely bound to my head's motion rather than the wind's, so there's less vibrational aberration. Also, a 2D mirrored waveguide has a hundred times the luminous efficiency, allowing us to use a tiny projector with a tiny onboard battery. It's tricky tech, but this is being worked on by Loomis and Quanta for the likes of Apple and Amazon. Motorcyclists will simply hop onto a billion dollar R&D train that is already doing a hundred trials per hour. So, the showy optics on is a Zeppelin a big fat hint at the future, which will ironically have no place in it. I'm sure he has filed five US patents, so don't be surprised if they ask you to buy one. But unless you're curating a motorcycle cabinet of obscurities, I wouldn't recommend it. Thank you very much for watching and thanks to the Insta360 GO 3 for sponsoring this video. If you happen to want a tiny camera, the only POV I've ever worn that isn't even noticeable as a pain in the neck, click the link below.